what's up guys and welcome back to ask nk today we're taking a look at relution smart hair that can help you get realistic looking hair with high quality performance for your next 3d model now you already know that relution has the character creator that is really cool for making high quality 3d models and accompanying with that is the brand new smart hair now smart hair comes with a huge set of components that can allow you to design your facial hairs in any way that you want and this comes with some interesting shaders that can get you up to speed now for those that are thinking about compactibility the smart hair tool is currently compatible with most major hair tools that includes the blender hair tool honor tricks for maya 3d studio max and cinema 4d and also xgen hair tool for maya and of course if you're thinking about exporting this for your game yes you can as you can export this from 1k all the way to 2k to any of those engines that you would like to play with now the smart hair comes in three packs which one of them is the hair builder the beards and brow builder and of course you have the prime hairstyle now for those who would like to build their own hairstyle you can actually take advantage of the 20 pre-assembled hairstyles and 32 hair elements that exist with this particular pack so you can do anything that you want apply different styles of hair create dynamic phases if this is also something that you're going for and for sure you can also play with the material presets that is across the board for any of these packs that you're getting now moving forward from that you can also do some very interesting things with the beards and brow builder now the beards and brow builder actually makes it extremely easy for those that are thinking about creating beards and also brows to do these things with ease so depending on the kind of beard that you're trying to create for the next character that you want to work with or maybe the kind of brow that you're going for you can also take advantage of all of these beautiful ones and start doing some amazing things the prime hairstyle is also another collection that exists with a smart hair that deals with 10 distinctive hairstyle that you can also tweak and work with and of course you can play with a couple of presets and accessories that comes with this one and all of these things are highly morphable to the character that you're working with now with that said let's take a look at what this actually looks like with character creator 3 so with character creator 3 open right here if you go over to the smart gallery and go over to the hair section you would notice that we have the major four collections that comes with the smart hair the beard and brow builder the hair builder the hair patch and also the prime hairstyle so if you go over to the prime hairstyle you can notice that we have a couple of hairstyles that we can play with so you can just simply double click and get these things applied to your model real quick let's take a look at what this looks like from the front view and that looks super cool so you can see that right here and if we scroll all the way down we can also take a look at the classic side part here and you can see this and you already started creating that cool model that you want with the very cool hair and we can also take a look at some of the female hair that we have here doesn't look bad at all and uh, we can also test out the ponytail with bangs and see what we can get and this also wouldn't look bad at all so really cool stuff you can now do with this and this is for the prime hair so within the prime hair you can also take a look at some of the material types that exist with this and to individual hairstyle that you're applying there are also some distinct materials that you can apply with this ones so for example i can pick up this material and throw it right onto this mesh and i can simply click on apply to apply the shader parameters to the mesh and this would look really really cool now for those who like to play with other kinds of hair that exist with this or maybe you want to play with the accessories that comes with it yes you can so with this you can also go all the way up and take a look at some other ones that exist right here so if we go over to the hair builder let's say for example you would like to build your own kind of hair and you don't want to work with the predefined ones you can of course also go all the way in and start building this hair with different components that exist with it so depending on the hairstyle you're going for you can proceed to build these things individually and of course these ones also comes with a material plus which means that you can throw in whatever kind of material that you want that have been pre-designed for you onto this mesh now for those that are thinking about brows and beards you can also take advantage of the beautiful brows and beards that comes with the character creator smart hair builder so for the brows and beards if you go over to the hair section and drop that down and go all the way to the hair group you can take a look at some of the hair groups that exist here but of course if you like to also play with the elements and you want to get some more stuff you can of course go over to the hair elements and even see some more cooler stuff that you can work with so if you go over to the brows let's take a look at some of these cool brows i'll just go in and uh, double click on this one to get that brow right there we can actually go for something that is a bit more coily like and of course you can see that bad boy 
We can also do the old sparse and see that. Mm, not looking bad at all. And we can also throw in the shot box and see what that looks like on our model. And I believe it's gonna make our model look even way cooler. Now, for those that might want to add an extra hair element onto your model, so we can go for a long beard and see what we can get. Not looking bad. We can also take a look at this other one. Let's see what we can get. So I just have to double click to select this and delete that and we can get that. And of course you can choose to even do some extra stuff. For example, if you want to add some mustache, maybe you want to have some more cooler mustache than what you have. Yep, you can also double click to add that. So I'm just going to hit the replace button to replace this mustache with this one. Mm. It's looking really nice so we can do some stuff so depending on what you like to create in a couple of clicks you can do some crazy things that will take you hours to create and of course most of you guys may want to add things like baby hair to your model maybe you just want to add some extra stuff to your model you can of course proceed to select any of this and these hair elements would help style your model to make them look even way cooler than you actually thought they could be so with this here let's take a look at the female hair and see how you can play with the shaders and also style the shaders depending on what you want to create with them all right so now that we have this most of you guys may not want to work with the shaders that exist right here you might want to tweak your own shaders or maybe you want to get a shader from here and then tweak it to your liking and how you can do this is simple what you need to do is go over to the section where we have the material and right here you notice that we have the banks selected but if we click all the way out you see we have all of the materials here you can choose to find these things by mesh name by material name or by shader type so i'm just going to set these as the mesh name and select the banks for example scroll all the way down and of course you would notice we have a couple of parameters and also a couple of our shader settings so if we click on the strand color we can proceed to play with the root and also the tip color. So on this one, we have the root color as this dark brown, so we can set it like that. And then we can go over to the end color and probably set it to something looking cool. So maybe we can set it to something as cool as this and we can click on okay to have that. Now, if this is what you want, you can go all the way up and transfer this same color or the same setting or the same shader color over to this one. And how you can do that is very easy. Click on this copy button, click on the A3L, which I believe is this one, and then click on the paste button. And then you can see that right there. And of course we can go over to this other one and then click on the paste button as well. And you can see that. So depending on what you're trying to create, you can now make all of these changes and get the most out of them. So if you go all the way up and let's say for some reason you like to add some extra stuff on the side, probably, you know, you want to have that extra set of baby hair thing falling off on the side. Yep, you can also double click and click on add just to add that there and you can see that coming in hot. And of course, you can also do the same thing for the scalp and maybe you can do the same thing for the back as well. So we can also double click and get this one right there and we can go over to the scalp section. Maybe you just want to have some very nicer, cooler looking scalp. You can do that. So we, since we have a parted hair on the front, you can double click and click on add and it's going to proceed to add that right in. So every single thing that you need to create the next perfect looking model is right here in Character Creator. And of course, a huge shout out to the folks at Relution for making this one available as it's been a long time coming. And it's also worth knowing that the hair is morphable. So depending on how you choose to morph the facial features of your character, the hair is going to go along for the ride. You can also proceed to animate this if this is what you want style the head however you want and also get the beards to walk alongside with it and of course the smart hair alongside with skin gen are more like a perfect fit so you can actually you know mix and match these things and get something really cool like this it's also worth mentioning that some of the accessories that comes with the smart hair also have morphable parameters so in this case we're looking at the pigtail braid and you can see that it has a couple of morphable parameters that you can tweak so depending on what you're going for you can tweak these parameters and get the most out of it and of course these can also come in very handy and for those who also like to export these to blender there is currently a free character creator add-on that is available that can help you import whatever model that you've done in character creator right into blender and get things started i believe a lot of you guys may have asked for this 
and it's pretty cool to see that right now with character creator alongside with the smart head you can now create that perfect beard that perfect eyebrow that perfect hair system that perfect facial hair that you've always wanted to have on your characters so this is more like it for those who like to get this i'm gonna put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check it out and see some of the amazing things that this has to offer and of course for those who like to get character creator you like to test it out right now you can actually get character creator for 30 days and it supports you to export obj fbx usd for 15 times when you're working with the trial and by all means if you want to get the full version i'm also going to put a link in the description that can bring you right over to where you can purchase the full version and get the most out of it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update and i'd like to see you guys again with your tutorial update pre-friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace